All right, what's going on, guys? Austin here. I'm just going to do a quick mix overview for you in Logic Pro X. Um, a lot of these things can be applied to any program. It's all it's all philosophical. It's all it's all technique. So to preface this, this guy usually does singer songwriter stuff, and we were just experimenting with genres. And it really gave me the freedom to do a lot of different techniques that I hadn't done previously with this guy. So there's a lot of cool things in the song, a lot of new plugins that I used, and uh, a lot of tricks. So I'm just going to start show, I'm just going to play a little bit for you, let you get a listen, kind of get an idea for what we're working with, and then I'll go over little techniques that I did in the song. So here we go. Beneath my feet, the clouds catch fire. The light's gone out inside of me. Not free fall for miles. I stay high, cold winds blow. No one knows what it's like below. In my head, I'm searching for you. Well, lost in time. Say I've been lost. Let me drown in my own shadows. No one hears a sound. Pain on this big man. From steps that I've taken, my body left breathless, soul is shaking. All right, so you heard the guest vocalist at the beginning, let him play, his, sing his verse, and then it kind of went into the, uh, the the chorus where both singers, the main singer and the featured singer, came together singing the same part, one of them ironically sang off time, the word time. What we're going to do here is I'm just going to kind of go over the intro, what I did, um, and I'll go through all the vocals first, and then I'll get into uh, all the MIDI information. Uh, there's only one true real instrument, and that's a guitar solo later on in the track that I'll get to. We just recorded it DI, though, so it's a simulated amp. So to start off the song, we got the very first verse to run through some effects, running it through uh, these two plugins right here, CLA-76 and Pro-Q2 are just his vocal chain that's what i was going with get his voice to sound the way i wanted it to and then i threw it through vocal synth this is where things get a little weird let me go ahead and take off the other two plugins you just hear this the clouds yeah that's a lot of delay in your road too but uh with the vocal synth on we're running it through polyvox which is giving you that high-pitched sound we're running it through the vocoder which is giving you that robotic sound um it really it gives a desired effect it gives a really creepy weird i don't know effect but i throw it way back in the song so you're just kind of listening for it another thing that kind of adds to you just not being able to hear it that well is i just muffle it the fuck out with uh, a 307 low pass filter and that's to really just not make it that apparent and make the vocals sound really good when they come in because they have all that high frequency info. But yeah, and that's just going over a pad, a pad instrument that I played where I threw one knob on it to give it a little movement. All right. So that's the intro. Now let's get into uh, the guest vocalist, the uh, chain vocal chain super super simple i'm using nectar for pitch correction because it was the best algorithm that i heard out of the pitch correction plugins i got and then i ran that signal through the 1176 emulation by waves the uh, cla 76 turned off analog um just waited kind of slammed him kept the attack a little bit slower 
not super slow. I kept the release at 12 o'clock and got got pretty good effect. I'm kind of slamming it at times. Like, kind of, kind of really slamming it at times, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> and then, uh, very, very minimal EQ. It's nothing crazy. A little high shelf, mid cut, high pass filter. Um, the high pass filter is just to really clean up the vocal. None of this low end save headroom. None of the low end, and we can save some headroom with the high pass filter. So that's, I guess, vocal chain. Now, where it gets interesting is in the main singer's vocal chain. Well, kinda. I added another plugin. We still got him going through Isotope Nectar. Then we run him through the 1176, and I just do mid cuts. Say I've been lost, let me drown. These are the these are the culprits that I was cutting. Just some painful shit and some confusing shit. stuff you don't want to listen to when you're listening to a song. And then right here, boosting 10k, 2dB, cutting 400 hertz, 2dB, and then I'm boosting 200 hertz, 2dB. The 200 hertz is to give him some body so he doesn't sound like a, like a kid. He sounds like a man. For the uh, 10k boost, that's just for clarity. I don't know. Another buzzword. I'm running it through, I'm running basically everything through Abbey Road Reverb, and I'm running it through H Delay. I really like, I really like this lo fi button and the ping pong button. Ping pong sends your signal back and forth between the right and the left, and then lo fi kind of takes, takes away some of those highs and harsh highs and harsh lows, so the repetitions don't get as annoying. Something with a lot of high frequency repeating over and over can kind of get a little bit much. Then uh, on the main vocalist, I got a uh, falsetto backing. I'm treating all the same except for this doubler plugin was added, and that was to set it off of directly center in the stereo field. So I'll just play play for you what it sounds like. Burn my sins into the earth. Just to bury me when I'm old. If I die today, you leave me in hell. Alright, so what that's doing is just taking off the main signal to direct. Just to bury me when I'm so it really just kind of sandwiches the vocal, makes it really take up the stereo field when he's singing those parts. And that's, I think it makes it more exciting. That's why I did it. I asked him to sing those extra backing vocals. And then same chorus, you've heard it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hop on to the guitar solo. I'm just doing a high pass filter and I'm just getting a really quick attack for the guitar. It's DI, so. This is the simulated amp I use. It's a guitar rig by Native Instruments. After that amp, I did a bunch of EQ, which is questionable. But I cut the mids, did a high pass filter again, and then I did my attack, and then my, my cut. So yeah, just boosting attack way, way, way up so you can kind of get the pick. Yeah, so I mean the audio, it's pretty self-explanatory. You throw your compressor on it, you make sure you're controlling level. I didn't have too much trouble with that. Then for the EQ, I'm just cutting mids, making things sound real close by boosting certain frequencies. Let's get into the instruments in the track. I'll just go ahead and mute all the mute all these vocals. So for the instruments, it's just a kick, snare, hi hat, sub bass, piano, and a pat. For the kick, nothing's going on other than delay and EQ, and I think the EQ is pretty crucial. I'm gonna show you what I did. I cut this specific frequency, cutting in this low mid area really helps you bring out the the hit of the kick. This is where all the confusion is. It makes it kind of sound papery, but when you pull it back, you can really get the full effect of this because this cut with this boost is a very good combo. And then right here, 
I'm just boosting somewhere near the attack so you can get the pedal. That was the thought process there. I think it's a really good idea to be cutting low mids. And then for the fab filter pro Q2 on the snare, I mean, this looks pretty similar to the kick drum, if not exactly the same. Actually, let me see if they're the same. Yeah, that's, that's funny. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna skip the piano because it's, it's really just, and then this is just an ES1 with a low pass filter. All I'm doing is just generating some low frequency sound. So you could do this with a sine wave, with a sawtooth, doesn't really matter. Just play in a low octave and throw a low pass filter on it. A little sub trick. This is just the piano with a really low root note or something. Just for aggression, I don't know. So when you get all that thrown together, You get that. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to do a mix overview of what all that I did on this track because I thought it was pretty interesting. And hopefully you learned a few tricks from it. And that's about it. So talk to you in the next one.